Hello Capricorn, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is for September of 2019. Please like and subscribe. Um, please take what you can use out of this reading. Some days it will resonate with you, some days it won't. Um, I suggest you learn your Sun Moon Rising Capricorn and also of your partners. So if you start viewing both those Tarot's, you will have a better understanding of yourself and your partner because you have aspects of your sun and your moon rising. So people who just watch one, they're only getting like half of their rating, I feel. It would be better if you do both. And cross watchers, the same for you. If you have time to watch four videos, two for you and two for your partner, it would just make you more aware of your situation because you're reading both your sun signs and your moon signs, which makes sense. Okay, Capricorn, I am starting with the Mystical Cats Tarot. I'm going to do a love reading. I'm going to lay out cards for you and your partner. And then I'll do a past, present, future spread. And then I will do an oracle card for you. an oracle card for your partner and I'm going to use the angels and ancestors and the oracle E this is what I'm going to use for the oracles okay so the bottom of the card Capricorn we have for you is five of earth so five of earth Capricorn tells me that you feel left out in the cold somebody in the relationship uh, wants to be more family like more involved and something is not evolving to where they feel left out in the cold. So the first card we have for you Capricorn is the Sky Queen. Sky Queen is very content with her life. She, she is also an observer. She can go up high and observe people. Um, and figure them out. She likes nice things. She's calm. She does not get riled up. Which is good. Okay, that's for you, Capricorn. The card we have for your partner is Cat Magic. So this for your partner tells me this is a major arcana card. They they have a different way of thinking. I'm picking up Capricorn. They are they aren't like the normal. They believe in their own way. Um, I believe like crystals, healing, um, holistic is what I'm picking up. Okay, Capricorn, next card we have for you is Seven of C. This is a beautiful card. I like it. But it means, Capricorn, that you are in denial about something. You are not looking at the obvious in front of you. Um, I don't know why. But, yeah, you're in denial of something. You're not acknowledging I don't know what that would be you have to figure it out so the next card we have for your partner is the ace of fire this is a good card Capricorn your person loves you they love you love you love you so um, this is somebody who definitely wants to stand their ground they want everyone to know you lo they love you they have no problem showing people they love you, Capricorn. They, um, they love you hard. They want everyone to know. The next card we have for you, Capricorn, is the Fire Queen. Fire Queen is, uh, somebody who's very wise, likes nice things. They like the city life. They like the bright lights of the city. They like to be the center of attention. And this is you, Capricorn. So something's going on. Are you getting ready to set up, celebrate something? A birthday, anniversary, 
Um, are you getting a promotion at work? Is there some kind of celebration thing going on there? So this is Grace card for your partner, Capricorn. So this card tells me that your partner is very well grounded. Something could be going on in their life right now that would send most people in upheaval, but your person, Capricorn, is grounded. They can handle their emotions. They can handle life when it deals them hardship, and they can stay on course without falling, and they're graceful about it. They have dignity. They have a lot of good qualities. Capricorn, you're lucky. Okay, so those are pretty clear. Let's see what your first card is for the uh, past of your relationship. So this is the SARS card, Capricorn. This tells me that the relationship you're in now is a divine one. It was guided by the, the stars, the gods, whoever you want to think. You two were meant to be together. Your ancestors, somebody brought you two together. You, uh... That's, that's amazing. So the present of your relationship right now is the Seven of Sky. Ah, so dark. I don't know what happened. Okay, there we go. So this tells me that somebody is not paying attention to the relationship and somebody is taking advantage of somebody else. This is not good. Um, I don't know if it's one of you in the relationship or somebody is taking advantage of both of you in the relationship. You have to figure that part out. Capricorn is a part I can't figure out. But somebody is not paying attention. There is some mischievous things going on here behind somebody's back. And they're doing it when they're not looking. They're doing it on purpose, somebody in the relationship. Like I said, I cannot tell. I guess I could do a clarifying card. So we get the Ten of Sky, yep. This tells me that somebody may be repeating the past. Something bad happened in their past that broke them, and they may be repeating the same thing again because they're scared and they're doing what they know. Let's read another card. We have the Nine of Sky. Holy cow. So somebody is tormented in this relationship. Um, They're having bad dreams. I don't know if it's something in the past that has been brought out. They have fears. They're not sleeping good. So let's pull another card. This is not good. The present of the relationship, okay, it's a six of sky. So this looks like people around your relationship are fighting. And you two, oh, I don't know why the light's going on. And you two are going to walk away from it. Whatever, who's ever fighting around you causing problems. If it's just one of you, one of you is walking away from it. If it's both of you in the relationship, you're both walking away from it together. But if one of you in the relationship is having issues, Capricorn, with a bunch of drama and anger and hostility, you're walking away. You're done. That's what that tells me. So that's good. We'll pull one more clarification card. The four of her. So this, unfortunately, could mean a couple things. This tells me somebody is being greedy, and they are selfish, and they will take everything and hoard it for themselves. That's not good. Or this means somebody is getting a really good job. They're going to be a high position in a job, and they're going to have responsibility, and they're going to be good at it. So one of those two things for those. And the future of your relationship is the Ten of Earth. This is good, Capricorn. Ten of Earth shows family life, abundance and wealth, abundance and friends. You're generous and you're sharing, Capricorn, which is nice, and friends enjoy that. It looks like they come hang out at your house a lot because you are, uh, you made a happy home. People like that. So we're going to do an e-card for you and your partner, Capricorn, real fast. See what comes up. So it looks like there's a little issue around you and your relationship, but you're going to be just fine. You're going to come out uh, in the end fine. You just have to work through it because you two are meant to be together, Capricorn. Somebody from has brought you two together, and I know it hasn't been easy, but it's meant to be. 
First card we have, Oracle card is Leaping in Love. Holy cow, Capricorn. Number seven. So let me see what that says. In my little book for the Oracle, e, Leaping in Love. Romeo and Juliet, Bogey and Bacall. They got nothing on you. It's romance time. Whether it's a new partner or falling more deeply in love with your own rock star life. Become besotted with your dream. Act as if it, act as if it has already happened. Everything, as they say, is coming up roses. Only this time without the thorns. That's awesome, Capricorn. So the card, Oracle you card for your partner, is Live Wire. Woo, you got a live one, Cappy. And that is 35, which equals 8. So you got 7, 8. So that's kind of cool that you guys are in order, it looks like. So let's read what 35 says. When within you is a powerful elixir that can change the world, both your world and the one around you. Scientists call this elixir emotions. But you can think of it as supercharged, current, capable of taking you anywhere you want to go. You can use your emotions to suffer or to skyrocket to fame. Good to know that it's up to you. So that's pretty good. So now I'm going to pull a uh, Oracle Angels and Ancestors card for each of you, Capricorn. And we'll see how that goes. So yeah, this is, these readings are general. If you want more clarity and it's to your specific uh, situation, you have to do a reading or I suggest you do one. You obviously don't have to, but I suggest you do um, because this is just general for most people. It just picks up the general and to focus on your certain situation, you would, have, you would need to do a personal reading, which I haven't set up yet, but I will. So this is very good, Capricorn. This is sage. Be devoted and committed. This is a very powerful card. Sage. Wow. So let's see what comes out for sage. I have to find them. There's a lot. Okay, here it is. Be willing to go the whole road and back again. This will allow you to be the best you can possibly be. The sage represents the wise one within. When this card arises, it shows...